On this week's waypoint, Targon's brace broke the meta, Yasuo the Unforgiven gets a proper reveal and maybe an overpowered ability, and the snowdown fast approaches. Welcome back, summoners, to Waypoint, your weekly League of Legends recap for November 28th, 2013. I'm your host, Mike Schaffner. Now, after a full week of the Pi Patch being on live servers, we've kind of had some interesting trends that have started to surface. First off, some junglers are feeling the need to simply duo lane instead of clearing the jungle to farm because it gives the same amount of gold in levels. This is in part due to the item Relic Shield, which upgrades into Targon's Brace. With both champions in a duo lane buying this item, it gives way too much sustain in the early game and gives a lot of gold to their lane partner. To counter this unforeseen change, Riot is changing the item so that the charge generates every 60 seconds rather than 30 and now only works on melee basic attacks rather than ranged. Now, this is a pretty significant change, but we'll have to see how the community adjusts for it once the change goes live. Also last week, we touched on some of the recent changes that came to jungle items, but this week, Riggle's Lantern received a revamp to be more in line with the new jungle and to help junglers increase their gold income. Now, this item's new passive gave 40% increased gold for monster kills, however the number crunchers in the League of Legends community quickly figured out that buying this item was less cost effective than simply skipping it entirely for late game items. This was true even when including the increased gold income from its passive, and in order to help steer this item back into people's hands, Riot has reduced the overall cost of Riggles to $1650 from $1800. Now, speaking of warding, here's a quick tip for you guys. You can currently hover over the enemy's warding trinket to determine how many wards that player has down. Now, obviously this won't tell you where those wards are located, but it might help give you an edge on where the enemy has their vision. So last week, Yasuo's abilities were not only revealed, but he's since been enabled on the PvE. As with every champion that has ever been released, many players are a little bit concerned over the power that his kit will bring. Yasuo is a champion that has high mobility and utility, but has a very rough early game. In order to hold Yasuo down, players will need to remember that he has great scaling and therefore has a weak early game. Another concern that players have about this champion is in regards to the active portion of his W, the Wind Wall. This ability creates a wall of wind that drifts slowly forward, blocking all enemy projectiles. All enemy projectiles. Yes. All. Reddit user ShadowGriff posted a compiled list of all known champion spells that would be blocked by this ability, and it's a long one. Out of 116 current champions, 82 champions have at least one ability that this wind wall will counter. To make matters even worse, certainly T posted on the forums and described that this wall will block and potentially destroy all missile projectiles and not champions and turret shots. This means the list now includes most auto attacks, Donger turrets, Baron, Caitlyn's ult, Blitz's grab, and potentially items such as Deathfire's grasp or even Gunblade if the player's reaction time is quick enough. Now, with a long cooldown of 18 to 26 seconds without cooldown reduction, do you guys think that this ability falls into being overpowered? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, some people might be blowing this out of proportion. Now, by the time we release this video, most of you Americans will probably be celebrating Turkey Day, but like your neighbors, Riot has jumped the gun and already started to celebrate Christmas before December even began. Riot is bringing back some of their past holiday skins for you to purchase for a limited amount of time, just like the Harrowing. Now, remember guys, just like last time, Riot will be refunding RP if you already owned any of these previous skins that are going on sale. The returning holiday skins are Snow Bunny Nidalee, Workshop Nunu, Happy Elf Timo, Ernest Elf Tristana, Old Saint Zillion, Regifted Amumu, Santa Gragas, Reindeer Kogma, Candy Cane Misfortune, Ragdoll Poppy, Nut Cracko, Silent Night Sona, Festive Maokai, Bad Santa Vigar, Mistletoe LeBlanc, Snow Day Ziggs, Dark Candy Fiddlesticks, Toy Soldier Gangplank, Snowmerdinger, and Sleighbell Katarina. 
Now that we got all of the old skins out of the way, let's take a moment to look at the three new skins that have been announced for this year. First up, we have Winter Wonder Lulu. This year, Lulu dons a blue theme with her fur-trimmed coat, blue crystal staff, and ice crown. I guess Lulu decided that Pix needed some holiday cheer as well, and has decided to turn him into a cute little Poro. Along with this skin's great new look, you can also expect a full set of custom particle effects, including a new recall animation. Next up is Snow Day Singed. This mad chemist is all bundled up and ready for a snowball fight this season. Instead of his signature poison bottle and shield, Singe has opted for a Zaun-styled snowblower and his favorite sled as his weapons of choice. His new particle effects may be a little snowy, but I have a feeling that he won't be any less deadly. And finally this year comes Snowstorm Sivir, but don't let her fool you. Her oversized snowflake is more deadly than pretty. And just like Lulu and Sin, she's bundled up for the holidays. Just don't say her new particles look stupid or she might rain down a blizzard of pain on your frozen face. Also, if you guys haven't checked out the League of Legends Poker Wrap that we showcased on Summoner Showcase Revival, I warn you guys, once you see it, it can't be unseen. Every Tuesday, we do our best to scour the internet to find the greatest art, cosplay, videos, and content creators who are doing their part to make the League of Legends community even greater. To watch our latest episode of Summoner Showcase Revival, you can do so by clicking right here. And I'll wait, you can click it, it'll open in a new tab, and then you can come back and watch this and then go watch that. Now, it's no surprise that Riot has been doing a phenomenal job lately, delivering and developing their lore. We've seen a massive push from them these last few months to present the story to us, rather than burying it into text. Not that the story wasn't there to begin with, we just really didn't want to take the time to read it. And it's reasons like this that services like Audible.com are so great. With hundreds of audiobooks available for download right now, you can have your favorite stories presented to you instead of reading a 300-page novel. If you guys are excited about the winter blockbusters like The Hunger Games or maybe The Hobbit, you can find those books available for download right now on Audible. Or with a plethora of video game related topics to choose from, there's just about something for everyone. And if you head on over to audible.com slash gamebreaker, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial and even receive a free audiobook to get started right now. And finally, we here at LOL Nation like to occasionally give away free Riot points to our subscribers, and a few weeks ago, we announced that we were going to do a giveaway for reaching 125,000 views on one of our videos. True to our word, the five winners of our $50 prize pool are Remote24, Cosmo Breaker LOL, Chococo Bolos, Kildari Wise, and Habitur007. Congratulations guys, we'll be contacting you on how to redeem your free Riot points. But for those of you who are watching right now, we don't want you to feel unloved or like you missed out because we give away Riot points all the time here on our channel. All you have to do is be a subscriber to our channel and watch the content that we upload on a weekly basis. You never know when we might be feeling generous or excited or happy or appreciative for you guys watching the content. So be sure to subscribe and keep watching all of our videos for more opportunities to win. Now, if you guys haven't checked out LOL King's League Trend Show, be sure to check out their YouTube channel. Each week, Lindsay Geektron and Cloth5 recap stats from LOL King's database to bring you weekly trends in top picks, bans, as well as wins within League of Legends. If you haven't checked out the show or their YouTube channel, you can do so by clicking right here. That does it for this week's episode of Waypoint. Be sure to check back every week on Thursday for updated League of Legends news. If you guys like this video, please like and comment below as it helps spread our audience. And if you want to see more League of Legends content, recaps, and updates, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lol Nation TV. I'm Mike Schaffnett. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Mike Schaffnett. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next Waypoint. Game Breaker TV.